What is that? Okay, can you give me the torch for a sec? Thanks. There's a smell of um. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Meath and there in the distance among the sheep is Saint Church. It's consecrated on the 14th of September 1812 and closed in 1952. Now according to legend um, Saint Aban, the son of the King of Leinster um, founded a convent here and the convent was named after a holy virgin called Sinch. Um, by the 18th century um, it started to fall into poor repair and they built the church from the stones I believe from the old convent. So I'll turn you back on when we make our way across this field. So we have made it across a field and this is Saint. Um, there's actually what looks like a headstone right under the window. Obviously this is abandoned. On this memorial it says, Stranger stay a while, rest, ponder the lives of those buried here. Destitute, alone, stones unmarked, names forgotten remember them and uh, that probably gives us a good analogy of this channel so I'm not sure we're going to even be able to have a look inside the ruins but we will try so the gate is open here so I'm sure there's sheep excuse the wind mind where you're walking there's yeah there's sheep doo doo everywhere Oh, so there has been lots of sheep in here, hence there's no grass <laughs> at all. This one here is completely broken. Sad to see it. We have a cross here. wonder would we be able to read this? Beautiful cross, in fact. Hello, sheep. They've all had their wool shaved. It says, in memory of William Hopkins, born the 20th of June, 1840, died at Gravel Mount, September 1902. Beautiful cross. Whoa, I just nearly walked in a big pile of... I didn't think sheep pooed like that. <laughs> I thought it was small little pellets. So quite barren looking. See the windows are all bricked up. Underneath that big window, it says the family vault of the Pollocks. Cross is just here. Wow. It's hard to remember all these people when do you know there's uh, the names are so worn I might get a look inside there just through one of the windows maybe this uh, cross is in memory of John Payne Garnet of Ark Hall who died the 3rd of May 1894 aged just 28 very young. You can see in here it is completely overgrown. Look at that. Can't even look inside. 
and the little pieces of what remains are just of the stained glass window. That would have been the door entrance. Over the door it says built 18, sorry, rebuilt 1810. Can't really read the rest of it. it says Dr. Thomas. Look at that. Right guys, so we were <laughs> looking inside, seeing how would we get some pictures or shots from inside. And we just noticed that you can actually step up on a stone and come inside. So, ugh, GV is with me. I'm not on my own, guys. And we noticed this and I thought, what is that? So we're going to have to have a look, aren't we? Gosh, it is very overgrown in here. I'm going to take off the glasses. I don't need those. So let's have a little look inside. See, a lot of the roof is on the ground here. But there is a huge hole. Look at that. Let's try and get in under to have a look. Whoa. What is that? Okay, can you give me the torch for a sec? Thanks. There's a smell of um, must or something. Just trying to back my way. That actually, to me, do you know what this is? This is a church vault, it says, huh? It's a crypt. Or a crypt, yeah. Because I think that there... Oh God, there's even steps going down. Like that, to me, this here... Um, looks like it's come from this piece. And there's a piece in down on the ground. What do you think? I think I can see a little coffin, sir. Oh, Lord, there is. There's something there. Right, guys, do you want me to go down? If you do, it's the only subscribe, one. hit the like button, and because there is steps, it'll be nice and handy to just to try and get in. This is like a jungle in here. Right, can you hold that for me then, please? And maybe the torch. It is like a jungle, isn't it? It's a lot of overgrowth. Right. Ooh, cobweb. Thank you. Wow, look at all the red brick. Oh, wow. I think I see water even in here. Lord, do you know what it looks like? Oh. It's definitely been vandalised. There's, a, I don't know how many bodies I can see or remains of people I can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Is that a water in there? There's some water. There's actually a tennis ball. Looks like people have been coming in and even still there is a skull there floating in water. There's loads and loads of coffins. There's two massive lead coffins there, probably three, four, five maybe, six, maybe one on The coffins are ginormous, like they're huge. Are they all lead or wooden? They're all lead, but I think, yeah, you can see bits of um, what's left of the coffins around the place. It's just frightening to see that, do you know, this place has been desecrated. Definitely grave robbers have come in here. And I don't know how people would even know that is in here, do you know? Um, it's so overgrown, but there it is, and it's it's full of water as well, and remains, and 
Wow. It's a pretty eerie find, I suppose. Right, I'm going to get out. Rest in peace to anybody that's in here. Like the, the stone, the little headstone says, the little memorial there. The, underneath the, the uh, window. I'm out of breath just because we had to climb in that window. I'll pause you and put you back on in a second. Right, I'm back up safe. But just look how much overgrowth is here and then this. It's a reminder really, isn't it, that wherever you're buried, if there's grave robbers or vandals, they will find it. And for those who have done this, shame on you. But, uh, and especially for that reason, I'm not going to actually, I'm going to uh, beep out the, the name. What is that? That looks like part of a, a bone, a human bone. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take out the, the name of the location. All right, we're going to try and get back out the window. Right, before we get out, I found a little easy way that we might be able to just manoeuvre away. Look at some of the plaster still on the walls. We have slates, old pipes. And this really is an adventure. What is in there? Oh, it's probably into the tower house, is it? I think it's into the tower house. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that bird just frightened the sugar out of me. What do you reckon? It's a room. Yeah. We're under, or we're just at the, do you know where they would walk? It's full of twigs. Yeah, I would say it's like it's a tower house. Let's have a look. But it looks cool in there. I don't know where I left the torch. The torch is probably in the crypt. It's just like a big, yeah. I'd say that is the tower room. Just in there. Not much to see. It's too dark. We've seen already that most of this place is bricked up. Right, so turn this back on, guys, when we get out. And we're out. Out of breath. Roasting. Sheep. <laughs> Sheep are uh, calling at us. Whew. You know that was an adventure, wasn't it? Huh? You know the way they say people are buried inside the church? Yeah. In the crypt, because they're closer to God. Ooh. And if you look at that crypt, the state it's in now. Yeah. I'd actually rather be buried out here. I've always said that I'd opt for a burial. Now there's so much sheep shit that it's hard to get around. But look at this one. I've just noticed this. We have skull and crossbones. Wow, look at that. Mind where you're walking there, there's more. The skull and crossbones. And I think it just says memento. Mori. Memento Mori there. Wow, look at that. Not sure you're going to get a great look at it. Let's just read who this is. Without walking in that. Wow, look at this. 1734. Um, here lieth the body of James Callaghan, who departed this life April the 1st in... Something year, oh, in the year 1734, aged 14. No, 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 no. 74. 74 years. And there's also, um, is that a name there? Oh, for the body of George. George. Uh, same surname who departed this life. That's the a ages. Now that does look like 15, doesn't it? Yeah. 15 years, 17, what's here? Oh, oh you have it there. 17, 28. There's a what? nine on that as well. That's oh, is it 9th of April? No. That's aged. aged. Hold on now. The 17th. 17th. That's just a design. 17th. 1780, 
1728, 9, aged 15. I wonder, did they mean the ninth month or something? They could do. There's two dots there, do you see them? Oh, yeah. Are they, what are they called? Colon. Semicolon. Semicolon. Could be that it was the ninth month. Wow. It's hard to get around here, guys, because there is, as we say, sheep are able to roam in free here. Um, but then, of course, they do leave a lot of dirt, which is great for the ground, I suppose. This one is down on its face, just about. Too hard to read, isn't it? This stone was erected by John Hoy, H-O-Y, in memory of his father, William, who departed this life, um, age 61, in 1811. 1811. So we have 1700s, 1800s. Oh, Lord, memento mori. Beautiful kind of a stone there, almost like a headstone, you know, basically telling you to remember those that are buried here, some in unmarked graves. Beautiful church. Some that are buried inside the church, probably a well-to-do family. And as you can see now, it's been desecrated and, I don't know, vandalised and probably grave robbers, which is quite disgusting, but it is a beautiful old church, very historical. Um, it's sad to see that that's the state of the place. Do you know what I've just thought of? Do you remember the cross? Was it a cross here? And it said, family vault. Yeah, I wonder if that is. Is that it? And it's... Let's have a look again. It is. Was it this one? Because there's yeah. no headstone here. Yeah, that's it. Do you think? It's, it's lining directly to where the yeah. crypt is. The crypt is basically, what, five, six feet away from this wall. So it's the Pollux. The Pollux. Of Mount... Mount Tainstown. Well, rest in peace yeah. to the Pollux. That's just a bit of the rail that has gone missing. Beautiful railed area there. Look at this. Whoa, it looks like, what the heck? Do you know what this was? Was this lightning? It looks like lightning struck the Lightning. Tree. See lightning. some burnt uh, timber on that one. Yeah, and look the way it's, oh, and that one is completely burnt. Cheapers. So lightning struck this church area. Jesus, look at it. And it fell on top of the crypt. You know, that area over there. Wow. That is quite eerie, isn't it? Look the way it split the timber. The sheep agrees with me. Yeah, the sheep are there all the time. It split the timber. You see the timber on the ground? It split this tree that ended up going into the, the roof of the, the chapel. Yeah, and that's burnt there. The whole way up, that whole tree is burnt. What do you reckon, guys? Comment down below. Was it lightning? Was it? I don't think it was a fire set purposely. See the ground. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we have to go across the field now, across all these little sheep that are here in the field. Some of them have lambs actually, which is quite beautiful. So we're going to keep away from them because we don't want to startle the, the sheep too much. But guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done already, share it with your friends and family. If they like this kind of thing, um, we weren't expecting to see that today. Only that we looked in to see if we could see what the inside of the church was. Uh, did we find that damaged, vandalised crypt? Uh, quite eerie to see. But uh, we're going to hit the road to the next video. Just for now, guys, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all again soon.